It's my father's amulet. Ah, you must be the master detective. And you should know I'm Derek Crawford. I came here because the Mistwalkers are in Dire Grove. Really? The clan left the grove? They must be seeking a new victim to sacrifice to their crazy forest god. You know who might have trespassed on the sacred grove? Here's a clue. In this letter, it'll explain whom the Mistwalkers want to find here. Why aren't you with your father's crew? I don't have time for petty battles with the Mistwalkers. If my father and the other hunters want to waste their time playing Inquisition, that's fine. But I've got better things to do. Still, I hope you smoke out this traitor. The Mistwalkers are probably tired of waiting for their next big sacrifice. Dear Bayer, it plays right into our hands that the town folk here are afraid to enter Sacred Grove. The game isn't afraid of us, and we take full advantage. We're glad you're satisfied with our recent deliveries. The deer remains my highest priority. I'll deliver its skin soon. You'll see it's well worth the price.
I'm abandoning my operations in the forest. I had a run-in with a strange local wearing some kind of deer mask. He seemed like a real threat, and there are many more like him. The risks far outweigh the rewards now. I've seen Derek in the forest. He doesn't hide from me, and he's not hunting. He seems oddly peaceful and determined, which is strange after how angry he's been. So, Bjorn was in love with Lily. Her death pushed him over the edge and he looked for someone to blame. Bjorn refocused on his duty to protect the forest. And that's when the poacher trespassed on Sacred Grove. Ted appears to be a dead lead, as the Mistwalker scared away his poaching operations. But this bit about Derek piques my curiosity. Why the sudden mood shift? And it seems that Derek is trying to make Ted look guilty. you here I'm not here to arrest you but I know you've hunted in the sacred grove illegally I admit it I was a puncher greed blinded me back then but I'm different now I saw the light and I haven't been back to the grove since thanks for trusting me and not telling the others those mist walkers can make snap judgments about people especially hunters here take this it opens one of the hiding places in Dyer Grove. I know you ran into Derek in the grove one night. What was he doing? I'm not sure. He was a frequent guest there for a while. I'd never seen him so happy. Not since his brother was taken away. Well, that is until... Oh, no matter. It's probably nothing. You seem upset. What's the matter? I'm worried about my dog, Thunder. He's run off. If you see him, please bring him back to me. He can be pretty rough with strangers, but give him a treat and he's all yours. Thanks, Detective. I'll never forget your kindness. My mother died, and I'm convinced the Mistwalkers had something to do with it. 
They took my brother away too. I'll find a way to avenge my family. Dear Mr. Derek Crawford, we have found an answer to your query. The Mistwalkers follow the rule of even exchange. If you want to get something from them, you have to first make an offering. All these hours in the library have not been in vain. Now I know how to bring my brother back. I'll take something valuable away from the Mistwalkers and demand Peter back in exchange. They have to comply. It's their rule.